welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about a uh, combined separating and the throttling calorimeters so just you can see over here from the figure the combined calorimeters so in this calorimeter throttling calorimeter and the separating calorimeters that will be placed in a series so that will be making a dot products so in these calorimeters steam is first passes through the separating calorimeters so here it will be from the main streamlines the initially it will be measuring the pressure with the help of pressure gauge and by the controlling valve that particular steam it will be passing with the help of the sampling tubes into a water indicators so that will be a separating device here it will be the perforating plate tray so by the passing of that particular stems it will be strike over here so that wet particles it be collected in that kind of instruments or you can say collectors so for that after it will be separating the water from the stems only the steam is passing through the second thing so that will be connected with the throttling calorimeters over here so here it will be the combination effect of the combined separating as well as throttling calorimeter so once again it will be measuring the pressure p1 after the throttling process you can say with the application of the controlling of a throttling valve so that will be the second pressure p2 so by this that particular steam it will be converted into superheated and that will be measurement of the temperature done with the help of thermometer and here similar we discussing into the throttling calorimeter we measure the height of the waters so in that case the combination effect of the both the things for the separating calorimeters and the throttling calorimeters now for the calculations of dryness fractions is being measured with the help of combined separating and the throttling calorimeters so dryness fraction that should be a product of x1 and x2 so generally x1 is representing over here as a separating calorimeters we already derive an x2 that will be from a throttling calorimeters so hg2 steam t superheated minus t saturated minus hf one so h f g one so by the using of equation number one and equation number two you should find a dryness fractions for the combined separating and throttling calorimeter so if you like it understand then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you very much